Hello and welcome to the CSCAD tutorial videos. My name is Sergey and today I'm going to make an overview of the design in CSCAD. First, let's find out where we can find all the things that influence the design of CSCAD. We go to Design and here we have several options. Themes, layouts, templates, email templates, invoice, I'm not going to speak about these two today, menus and product tabs. Let's move to the themes. First, let's speak about the theme itself. In CSCART we use responsive theme. Uh, let's move to the storefront and I will show you why the theme is called responsive. The theme is called responsive because it responds to the changes of a browser. Alright, you can, you can see it here. And uh, the changes of a screen. Now let me show you. Like this. They all in one line now, as you can see. And uh, for example, if you use uh, CSCART on your and if you use uh, CSCART on your tablet or on your phone, the theme will adjust accordingly. I think that's clear. Uh, let's go back to the design page. There are two main categories that determine the look of the theme: layout category and style category. In layout, we have main layout and widget mode. Widget mode is used for the on-site selling and main layout is used in all other cases, simple enough I think. Style determines the look of your store. We have um, lots of styles by, the, by default, like black, brightness, Facebook and so on. You can choose them from here or you can choose them from here and by the way here you can take a look at them. Currently we use modern theme. but just with one click we can choose another theme, like Woody. Use this style and that's all. Now let me show you one more powerful tool for editing your theme. If you want to completely change the look and feel of your store, you will need the theme editor. There you go. Currently we have a Woody style here and now we can customize it as much as we want it. We can customize already existing themes or we can create our own theme based on uh, the existing ones. Let me show you. In general settings you can choose favorites icon and uh, make corners rounded. Just like this. Yeah. Here. And here. In logos you can um, choose a logo, you can choose um, a mail logo and uh, a logo for the gift certificates. Okay. In colors you can change all the colors of an um, already existing style completely, like, you know, I want to make it blue for example. Alright, as you can see this uh, wine became blue, let's move on. Here you can adjust the fonts, here you can choose the background, you can use uh, either color or picture as you wish. And the last one. Custom CSS. Uh, well, if you know what uh, the CSS is, you can just copy and paste CSS in this box and then uh, just uh, save the changes. Uh, by the way, when you save the changes, you have to create a new style because you can't change the default styles of uh, CS card. I think this is really useful. You cannot ruin uh, already existing styles and uh, it will be easier to back up your already existing styles. All right, for example, Woody 2. Okay. Oh, all right, I created my own style. Now uh, let's move further with our guide. Now let's speak about the layouts. Speaking about layouts, layouts determine the position and the look of the content on the page. Just like where the main menu is placed, where the breadcrumbs are and so on. Where all the buttons are positioned. Uh, by the way, we have uh, the default layout for all the pages in the store and we have, uh, so to speak, personal layouts for every page like home page layout, main content, main banners, shop with easy and so on, products, categories and so on. What can be done here? Uh, for example, we can add a block of content, we can edit already existing box, we can uh, activate, deactivate a block and so on. We can use uh, already existing blocks, we can create new blocks 
everything you want. I will be speaking uh, about box and layouts uh, uh, more a little bit later in uh, the next videos. All right, and now let's move to the next topic. Okay. Templates uh, contain all the information about the look and feel of the store. Here we have uh, CSS files, less files, we have um, files for the layouts and so on. I recommend you to work with the templates only if you know coding or if you have uh, some programmers or for example you or if you hire some programmers who know what to do with all this that's all about it let's move on to the menus uh, menus contain the additional buttons that are not related to the products categories and so on for example here we have one menu quick links in the quick links we have three buttons our block give certificates our brands let me show you them on the storefront here are the buttons i spoke before our block give certificates our brands Product tabs. Product tabs are used on the products page. They contain the additional information about the product, like the description, some additional files, reviews from the customers who bought product, and so on. Let me show you how they look like on the products page. Usually, we can find the product tabs uh, at the bottom of the page. Here, we have a description tab and the reviews tab. That was a quick overview of the design in CS Card. In the next videos, I will make a detailed review of all the functions and features that determine the look and feel of your store. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCAR tutorial videos.